welcome back to another episode of Drew Discovers where I'm currently driving through the heart of the Atlas Mountains. However, with the rapidly setting sun affecting my visibility, the roads were becoming quite dangerous, so I pulled up in the closest town to spend the evening at my second favourite park in Morocco. It's beautiful, but it's time to get back on the road and get this episode underway. The higher and higher I seem to go and the deeper and deeper I seem to go into the Atlas Mountains, the colder it is getting at night and on an evening man it's getting cold. I'm sure you don't have any sympathy because most of you are watching from the UK but I've got my jumpers on, my woolly hats, my socks. It is quite cosy but it's just a little bit too cold. I'm thinking about getting a duvet because I didn't convert this van so I'm, I don't know what sort of insulation went into it but I'm pretty sure there's nothing and I've got a little gap in the tailgate so there's just like breeze that comes in so it's it's chilly but it's um it's manageable i don't know if you can see in the distance hopefully you can the mountain range and the surprisingly blue water ahead i think it's a reservoir but we're gonna go down there somehow and uh yeah go have a proper look at it there's also like every 100 meters just children selling various herbs and what's he got grapes or olives i'm not sure where are the parents? I had to stop to just look at the view. It's absolutely stunning. Look at this. Tiny little town in El Audan. Let's have a look, see if we can find somewhere to park up. It's hot though. <laughs> Dressed like an escape prison convict. Okay, we're gonna start making our way down towards the actual waterfront now. When I'm in these markets, sometimes I can't believe how far I've come and how different it is to back at home and it's yeah, it's, it's amazing really how far this van's come and what was actually originally just a two week trip to France has now turned into four months on the road. And yeah, I think I found a little spot because I want to go, well to get to the water, obviously we need to go down. So we're going to keep on cruising and hopefully we'll find a nice spot to make a little bit of late lunch. Swing that back around. We'll see where this takes us. We're heading in the direction of the water, it just sometimes a little bit difficult to. Well, you're dropping down the face of a cliff, so it's pretty hard to drive down. But I have faith. Wow. Yeah. No, 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 no. 
I sometimes forget this is just what was that? This is just a panel van and not a 4x4. Four four. You know what this off-roading requires? Taking this jumper off, because whenever I go off-road I start sweating. Onwards we go. There's a mini stage. Fucking illegal rave. It kind of looks like I'm on the surface of the moon. Not that I've ever been to the moon, but it's how I imagine the moon to look like. Mild panic. Let's go have a look at these track marks. Let's go see how close I was to getting stuck. See, all weather tyres that I got definitely have um, helped me out a little bit there because the ground is obviously just getting softer the closer to the water we get. It's just an obvious thing that I now know, which I didn't know before, but look at these. Oh my. I just started sinking. Oh, that's deep. That is deep. You live and you learn. Won't be doing that again. I wasn't really going to do any fishing content, but I set up the rod for this guy and he realised he didn't have any bait, so he just gave me his float, which is nice. His, um, I can't remember what they're called, they go on the end of the hook. Blur. I can't believe how long this gas bottle has lasted me, so I'm hoping that we get a few more meals out of it. It hasn't let me down yet. Have I got a lighter? There it is. I cook this meal quite a lot. It's just an easy camping meal, you know. Egg. I've always got eggs, tomatoes, and then whatever else you want, onions, garlic, whatever. You want to put lemons in it, you want to put lime in it, you want to go spicy. And it's just really easy because it's in the tagine as well, so. I think this is up there with one of the top three places I've ever camped in this van. It's so quiet which makes a really nice change from all the cities I've been in. And it's basically just me. I met the guy who gave me the lure for the fishing rod. And there's clearly someone who lives in that little tent just behind us who is not in at the moment. So hopefully they don't mind me being here and it'll be a nice place to pass the night.
I'm going to attempt to save myself from freezing like I did last night by just shutting the door while it's still got a little bit of heat outside. The sun is just setting over the top of that mountain there. But if you can see from this angle, maybe it's better from here. Just over there, there's that bloke's little house. So we should have a nice sunset coming up over this ridge. Good morning! Ugh. It wasn't actually too cold last night, it was because we were lower to the sea level, so it was okay, but everything is frosted over. <sighs> that didn't work. I actually put up the heat reflector, which may have done me some favours, actually. Let's see what's going on outside. Very peaceful. There's little ducks as well. Just quacking away. Wow, so sunny. I'm going to turn this into my office space. Because for some incredible reason, I managed to get Wi-Fi here. People have joined me. Just out here. It's a German guy, he's got so much gear as well, like boats and loads of fishing and stuff. He says he's been catching carp and black bass, so I might befriend him and see if he'll take me on the water. But yeah, he's got an almighty setup. Pick up tables. I don't know what else he's got. A real outdoorsman, I think. I'm sat here doing, doing work on my laptop. Ah, there's worse offices though. I'm not joking, these guys have built the best camping setup I've ever seen in my life. So I'm gonna go over and say hello and see if, primarily, he'll show me how to fish. He looks like, he's got three fishing rods, so. I think these are um, like professional fishermen, so I'm hoping that... Well, he did say if I came back, if I was still here in the evening, he'd show me some float fishing. So I think he'd have to go catch carp like deep in the river, deep in the lake with his boat. So we'll see what happens. We'll see where we go from here. The only problem is that I haven't got any food. I've got only my emergency rations, so it depends how much of an emergency this is turning out to be. I kind of want to go on the boat with him, but you know, he's probably paid a lot of money for this trip and I can't just come hijack it for him and his wife. So... so I do have emergency food just in case I ever get myself into any trouble, but at the moment I'm never really that far away from a town or whatever, so I got these in France maybe two months ago and what better time than now where I'm going to spend an extra night camping here to give them a go. They look kind of disgusting. That'll do. That can feed me all day I think. This is annoying me, it doesn't seem to work. Where's the fin?
out of breath from that paddle board. Oh, it's nice enough. Won't be happy with it in a restaurant, but. I don't know what 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 kind of meat is it. I don't know. Okay. It, sometimes it's. I think it must be. Uh, what is? Uh... It, it's cooked already. No. No, 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 no. no. It's fresh. It's fresh. Okay. You have to put put it in a pan. Okay. Um, but it must go warm. When you put it cold in, it goes. Let's see. Uh, I can't bite it. You're not impressed with it, no. Uh, it's okay. We have every day. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Every just... day meat. Oh, I love meat. Yes, but not every day meat. No. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, let's, uh, let's wait, wait a minute. Let's, let's see what we ask now. Okay. Uh, don't, don't say thank you. This is, I'm this, a Simon. We have so. No, this is. Uh, taste it. Have, <laughs> have no taste. This is. is tastes like a, a pancake, maybe. Yes, pancake. I with know. a lot of butter. There's a lot of fat in. Uh -huh. I know these already. Oh, it makes food. We get uh, two Thai jeans, but. Uh, <laughs> I'll show you one. Yes. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm fat enough. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Put a, you have to put it on a cooker and uh, put some uh, water or uh, put some beer in or whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Need some fluid inside. So the the German couple that are here, I must ask for their name, have said that I'm in charge of the fish. So if it beeps, I need to get it. I did tell them I've only ever caught a fish this big, so. I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't, but this is the setup man, it's epic, look he's got like lines here, boat, landing net, another fishing rod, like this huge setup, it's beautiful, then there's me, then there's me. It is a bit cold. Meal number two, the Massimon is coming out. It's nice. I've messed up one of his rods as well. The thing started reeling out, so I tried to reel it back in and now it's all tangled. So I've known this man about six minutes. He's a big lad as well, so hopefully he's not going to be too upset with me. Mm. Can you see? Look at it all tangled here. I don't know where it is. I hope he comes back soon because I'm filled with uh, dread. I think I can see him in the distance actually. He seemed like a nice man, so I'm not, you know, I think he'll understand. He's here. He's here. Big German soldier, time for me to apologise. Oh, he was a nice man, he was okay about it. You think there's a fish on the end? Which is. I hope so. So that it's going on the boat. The bottle is moving. Uh huh. The other one to stay at one point. The left bottle. So it's gone into the bottle? Yeah. And the, there's a line from the bottle to the to the button. Uh-huh. But there's a line. And I think the fish is around the line. That could mm. be your first calf. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Put in. Yeah. Oh my gosh! It's All my work. It's work. <laughs> so heavy. <laughs> yeah. Give me five. Nice one, bro. Yeah. That's awesome. One. Yeah, and the gold one. It's beautiful. Yeah, the other one was uh, silver, like. Wow. Um, that was epic, man. That was so big compared to the only fish I've ever caught, which is like that big. It was incredible. 
I didn't think he was going to tell me off. No. This guy's quite easily caught the biggest fish that I have ever seen. And he's also given me another meal. Him and his partner did say that it was... They said try it before you say thank you. But they don't know me. They don't know that this is probably going to be one of the best meals that I've cooked in the van because... I think it looks nice. A bit basic, but... It's alright. The rain has just started to come down now. For the first time really since I've been in the mountains, you can just see it on the... On the dash. It's nothing too heavy. Nothing like back at home, but... I'm just going to... Um, hide in here for a little bit. I just hope it doesn't rain too much because the ground is quite soft and I'll have trouble getting out of here tomorrow if so but it's always really nice and cozy um, just for bed in the van where it's raining and it's quiet and the sun's going down it's um it's a nice place to be but yeah let's see where we're at tomorrow and we try to get out of this place look at the fog in the distance It's a beautiful day. The dog's come and eating all my food I left for it. And it's time to try and get this van out of here because it rained quite a bit last night. So the ground's quite soft. We'll see what happens. The ground's pretty wet, so I'm hoping not going to be a problem. Shut up. Okay, right, here we go. Up and out, up and out. I don't think it should be too much of a problem getting out of here. The only part that I'm slightly worried about is that little dip with the water. I'm hoping it's not filled up. Um, but I think as long as you follow the tracks, as long as I follow the tracks, we will be okay. You make your own luck in this world. Um, I think we came that way. What an idiot! That was the. That I could have just come down here last time. Oh well. But okay, we have made it back onto the main road as always I'm not really sure where I'm going from here but I think I'm going to go to a town because I've got no water in the van I lost my toothbrush and I need to wash which is easier done in a town I just want to say a quick thank you to Dave Best who sent me some money through the YouTube channel I'm not sure how he did that or why he did that but I really appreciate it as always I invite you to like comment and if you enjoyed this video subscribe but that's completely up to you it's just an invitation be kind to yourselves take care of yourself protect your energy and i will see you next week <laughs>